tag, bitch, you bitch. Wow. I been it. Now it's mine over metal, metal over my killing every beat and every track. They cross the line. My teeth boys out and they taking what's all mine. Back. Tracer was laid back with focus no phone line. Back. Now I got a sister counting digits by four pounds. They like, who that, who that, yummy tell her that go space. Run up in your shit and put shells in the staircase. Got her all duck, duck, she's in the angel face. Bring the land, baby, I ain't never been put in place. Thought I was done rapping. Wow. Still I came with the match chin. Pounds yeah. in your face, leave your bitch for the flat chin. No yeah. plug. Where you at, show? Let them know who we sitting here with. Squad, it's your girl YT, better known as Yummy Taylor. You can look me up on IG, YummyTaylor.tm. Straight from out of Baltimore, Park Heights. Okay. Zone 15. Park Heights. Um, Park Heights is a very uh <laughs> notorious area of Baltimore. I mean, to the point where like that was a rule. <laughs> like yo, like. You gonna see who? A chick? Where she live at? Park, Park Heights? Heights. Uh, I ain't coming up there. Nah, you <laughs> feel She gotta meet me by my dog in this side. <laughs> the sad thing is I lived all up and down Park Heights. That's where I got my, like, my whole hustle mentality from, for real. You feel me? Like, but it's, it, but it's, it's only the people from Park Heights that be like, yo, Park Heights, Park Heights, it's cool. It is cool. It is cool. I survived. Park Heights is notorious like Cherry Hill is notorious. You feel me? But anyway. Whole Baltimore notorious at this point. Where did, where did you get this this passion for music? Where did, when did that start? Oh my goodness. When I was when I was a little girl, like, you know how you used to catch the bus back in the day you had the little CD player? I will always listen to female rappers, you feel me? I never thought that I would be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? I just knew I had the ear for a female artists. So every time they rap, I'm talking about um, back when Evie, Eve, Lil Mo, and all of them was popping off or whatever. I used to always listen to them. So my brother I had, I grew up with one brother, just me and my brother. My brother used to rap. And I used to go to the studio with him. So about my teenage years, he asked me, to get on the track and say this one line. I was like, what? In the studio? All right. He's like, you ain't scared? I'm like, no, I'm going to do it. So I did it. And once they played it back and I heard my voice, I'm like, damn, that shit hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I've been rapping. Like, I took it serious probably when I was like 21, for real. But I definitely say around the age of 13. All right. And like, definitely this, like right now, it seems like it's a lot a lot of female artists mm -hmm. that's that's doing their thing and it's that's actually nice you feel me yeah like i mean like who who you mess with in the city i mean i mess with um cz baby you know she hot right now she's doing her thing um i also infinity you know she she got she got balls or whatever i mean i i show love to all female artists because like at back in the day they all men, all men. Yeah, we got some things to say too, so I always got the ear for it. But yeah, it's, it's a couple of artists out here I fuck with. Just even rapping now, like, okay, just, she got a little thing going on. So, like, as far as with the female, the, the culture is going on with the female artists, mm -hmm. like, are y'all working together? Is it features or is it like, like, what's going Man, on with it? I really think that's our problem in our city that we're not working together. We got some talent out here, and if we pull together, we can all blow, you feel me? But a lot of people is not with it, or they trying to text the next person for a feature when we all try and get up, you feel me? And that's where they fucked up in the head at, because we all ain't on. We all local from the same city, so we need to just stick together and get together. And I be doing, like, little takes to bring the female artists together for we all to shine, for real, but they want to see it as hate this girl so let's go at this girl i'm like no we from the same hood you know what i'm saying so i definitely think we should pull together with that so what's next what's what, what you got coming up oh i got this new turf song man my first one at that my first turf song you know the city like yeah you be going hard you got bars we want to see some turf music i'm like what for real all right i'll give you that because at first me, I look at other artists like, that's all she gonna talk about is shaking her ass. That's all she got, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't never with it. But 
I'm about to get in the city with their asses, so it's definitely a bang. I'm gonna bring them bitches out, so look forward to that. So do you think that it's pressure on females to, you know, make those sexual songs? Because I've heard your, you know, a couple of your songs, like, you real, like, they mean aggressive, <laughs> like, you feel like you about your business. Do you yeah. feel like you got pressure to make those songs? You feel me? No, I don't, I don't find it pressure. I mean, I got a strong team behind me for real that I'm not, I'm the first lady. I'm the only lady, you feel me? So when we all get together, I mean, I got strong team. So when we all be vibing together on the cypher tip, I be feeling like, you know, I got, I got to pull this off. You feel me? I'm the only female in here. I got to pull this off. So, you know, it works out, but I don't feel no pressure. Okay. So what you think as far as the city and the platforms that's here in the city, like what you think could be better for just artists in general? Uh, let's see. So our city, everybody is starting, you know, different pl platforms. Shout out to Baltimore Rap Preview. Shout out to um, definitely, um, what's that? The one radio station with DJ Duke. Shout out to them too. Baltimore stories definitely popping off. Shout out to them too. Um, what we, what's going on for the artists is they need to realize this is like your connect. You know, this will get your your promotion. This will get you heard. Is these platforms that's out here? What they got going on? Everybody chasing the gram, Facebook, social media, um, getting connect with your DJs and. And definitely the platforms that's out here in the city. Everybody trying to get on. So if you promote them, they promote you. Definitely shout out to where you at, show. We definitely about to take off with this one. So definitely connect with your platforms that's out here. Okay. All right, just the way you at, show. So where you see yourself at, you know, in the next year or two or five? Man, I'm about to be a star. You heard me. So if you watching this, remember I said this like, damn, she was just saying that we're on you. Where you at, show? She was about. I'm about to be a star. You feel me? I am about to pop in the next five. All platforms, Billboard charts. I said that. Remember, I said that. Um, but definitely, I'm about to shine. It's like it's crunch time. Definitely. All right. So give give one little piece of advice to you know upcoming artists male or female anybody because you know a lot of people you know mm -hmm. sometimes they shy or they you know they yeah. got fear in them like give them some advice as far as just chasing their dreams first when you start off i think you should know exactly where you fit in in the industry it's not all just the artists you know you got djs you got rap you got a person that can rap and can't write you got writers out here all that shit make money, you feel me? So find out where you at first. Because some people jumping out there and I hear them, but I don't see them. You feel me? Like, damn, that shit sound hard, but this nigga can't even perform. He's scared. He's shaking. He ain't doing no shows. You just hear that song on YouTube over and over again, but it's, it's just a picture back there. You know what I'm saying? So just finding out where you at in life and where you want to go at in the industry and strive for it, man. Like... If you hear the people like, man, she garbage. Yeah, you need them haters too. Because while she, he saying you garbage, he telling the next nigga, yeah, you heard that shit? Man, that nigga garbage, but you heard that name. And then the next person. So don't be, don't get bad influenced by, you know, the haters because you're going to need them too. So stick to it and chase it. Run with it. You feel me? Get connects with your DJs, your platforms, and your city and run with it. Y'all heard it heard it here first from YT. Yeah. She heard, heard what she said. Find out where you at. You where feel you me? Where you at? Where you at, show, man. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Most definitely. Most definitely. Everybody right now, go follow him right now. Where you at, show. Tag him in this right now. Where you at? YT. YT. We, we out. God.